Good morning, wonderful Westview Baptist and Cross Point Vacation Bible School craft leaders. My name is Kim Faulkner and I am going to be demonstrating our craft for Vacation Bible School this year. And this is session one. This will be day one of your craft. This is my first time to do a sort of video led craft, so uh, bear with me. Um, but we're gonna have a good time. So to get started on day one, you're gonna have the materials in your room ready to go. The things that you should have today on day one are going to be some cutout stars. For kindergarten through third grade, you should have a variety of stars in your room already cut out. If you're a craft leader for fourth and fifth grade, we're gonna have some template stars and your, your students, your children, should be able to cut out the stars for themselves. They don't have to be cut exactly to the style of the template, but this will at least keep them in a certain size range that will be good for the finished canvas. So what we're hoping for is at least, um, at least one star, hopefully maybe like three stars, but if your student prefers to do two stars or four stars, then go for it, okay? This is their art project. So I've got some stars cut out. Um, I have a, a larger size star, a medium star, and then a smaller star. And so basically, they're going to have a paper plate that they can pour their paints on or that the lead, that the leaders or assistants can pour the paint on. And then they're also gonna have a paper plate that can hold their stars as they uh, paint. First thing they're gonna wanna do is take a Sharpie or some sort of writing utensil and put their name, first name and last name on the back of each star. Um, it's amazing how many Emmas or uh, Jacks can be in one classroom, so it is important that they have both their first and uh, last name on the back. So, uh, there's really nothing complicated to this. I've just poured out whatever leftover, even kind of dried up paint I had here in my studio. And it's just kind of a hodgepodge of blobs here. And I'm just gonna have some fun. Um, I'm gonna start with the star and just start putting on some paint. I think it's, this is a fun time to really connect with your students and, and talk to them about uh, what they see, their favorite place, that they've seen stars, what they like to do when they're, when they're outside looking at stars, but just have some fun. So we're just gonna paint up some stars. And if the kids wanna change colors, it's okay. They can just take a paper towel and dab it off. Um, I sort of like to see some of the colors kind of blend together, but it's up to, you know, it's up to your little artist and, and what they like to do. I, what I don't want to see, if at all possible, is just a bunch of, you know, where the colors get all muddied together. But um, they're going to paint their stars today, and really, that, that's it. So they're, they're labeled on the back, you're painting the front. And then, and they can just take their time and have fun, uh, have fun with this. And then when they're finished, they're gonna put their stars aside. And when they're dry, there should be a Ziploc bag with each student's name on it. And then one of the craft helpers can put each student's stars back in to the Ziploc bag so we keep them together. So that is it for day one in painting your stars. I'm gonna come back with a day one part two so that you can see all the stars that I've painted um, as a finished project. All right, thank you.